Hallöchen meine Bärchen und herzlich willkommen bei einem weiteren Part mit Stanley's Parable. So, beim letzten Mal hatten wir ja sehr, sehr, sehr viele Möglichkeiten, wie wir uns entscheiden könnten. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Was ist hier denn passiert? Ähm, ich werde mir dazu aber mal eine längere, ruhige Zeit nehmen, damit ich das so alles ausprobieren kann. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his coworkers. Ja, aber die Zahlen sehen ja komisch aus. Ähm, und das dann zusammenschneiden, habe ich gerade schon gesagt? Keine Ahnung. Auf jeden Fall, ja. Und ja, wir versuchen jetzt. Die sehen ja alle so aus. Okay. Wir gehen jetzt bei der Treppe zum. Äh, zum. When Stanley came to a set Boss. of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Genau, da gehen wir gleich durch. Da hatten wir die 12.000 verschiedenen Möglichkeiten. Und ähm, wir gehen zur Treppe. Ich wiederhole mich gerade 12.000 Mal. Entschuldigung. Ähm, und gehen nicht nach oben. Yet there was not a single person here either. Sondern nach unten. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Ach so. Der Boden ist aber ein bisschen anders. Oder bin ich gerade nur... Hm. So. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Genau. Das machen wir nicht. Ein Auto. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such oh. a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. Eigentlich And as Stanley nicht, nee. pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? <laughs> doors close automatically behind him wherever he went. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! Was? He yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his ich job. Jetzt nicht he wasn't crazy after all. He thought to himself, dann. I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began What? to gently float above the ground. What? Then he no, 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 no. imagined himself oh. soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then oh. perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, oh. the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. Huh? How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain beyond a doubt <laughs> that this was in fact a dream. 
Did the voice not oh, see him man. float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Okay. Nope. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. What? This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. <gasps> but on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who oh had stumbled God. through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Was? Was ist das denn gerade für ein Ende gewesen? Die Zahlen sind immer noch so komisch, okay. Oh. Ich werde nicht mehr. Oh. Okay. Überall Gänsehaut. <lacht> Aber wir sind noch nicht mal zur Hälfte mit unserer Zeit durch. Ich hätte nicht gedacht, dass das so schnell geht. Ja, was war das denn für ein lustiges Ende? Äh, äh, lustig. Nee, nicht lustig. Was war das denn für ein verrücktes Ende? I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? Ähm. Ja. Also sind halt immer noch alle weg. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Ja. Aber ich wollte noch mal This was not the correct way to the meeting mm -hmm. room and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first just to admire it. Genau. Ah, yes. Wir konnten Truly noch a room worth admiring. Pop, 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 but eager da. to get back to business, Stanley Diesen took the Gang first nehmen. open door on his left. Normalerweise sind wir ja immer geradeaus durchgelaufen dann. Aber wir sind hier noch nicht lang gelaufen. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door and got back on track. Ah, da kommen wir raus. Okay. 
Aber das will ich gar nicht. Ich will hier mal runterschauen. Ich weiß nicht, was ich mich da, was ich da erwartet habe. Äh, okay. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, from here it's, um, left. Sicher? Okay. Wir haben noch mehr Möglichkeiten, um irgendwo lang zu gehen. Yay! <laughs> oh, no. Oh. No, it's to the right, my mistake. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? Was it's nicht? clearly Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Yeah. Now let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yeah, yep. Okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. <laughs> this story is absolutely definitely this way. Warum lassen die alle ihr Licht an? Hm. Oh! No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Was kenne ich schon? Okay, okay, okay. We just, we just have to get back to um. Oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. Nein, nein, I'll keine Sorge. Waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense. We'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hm? Okay. From the top. Ah, <lacht> uh, nein. <lacht> okay. Kommen wir jetzt durch eine andere Tür? All of his co-workers. Nein, sagen wir die dann nochmal. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Mm -hmm. Dann gehen wir doch einfach noch mal da lang. Vielleicht kommen wir dann durch eine andere Tür. Das wäre ja lustig. When Stanley... Wait. Wait, what? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Nein. Did you move the story somewhere or... Nein. Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. <laughs> it was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay then. It's an adventure. Huh? Come Stanley. <gasps> Let's find the story. Ah, wie cool ist das denn? Okay, wir gehen erst hier lang. Ah, oh. Wie ein Labyrinth. Immer rechts lang gehen, erst einmal. Hm? Immer an der rechten Wand halten. Oh. Uh. Hier wird's dunkel. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you, <lacht> there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Nein! Nein, 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 nein! unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over over again. Tür. But it's gotta be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Nein, nein, nein! Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Ah. Der allererste Satz wieder. Keine Tür da! <laughs> okay, yeah, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Okay. Das ist ein komisches Gefühl, rückwärts zu gehen oder zurück zu gehen. Gott, ey, ich dachte gerade, die Pflanze wäre ein Kopf gewesen. Oh, meine Güte. Aha! 
I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. Oh, yeah? No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. What? Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Nein, ich auch nicht. Is this story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Yeah. Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so good job. Yay.